Alright guys, so I think I'm going to give you a quick video of what I'm working on today. Um, I'm doing an engine rebuild on the Alice Chalmers. And this has got the uh, Perkins 4 cylinder diesel in it. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you guys a link in the description about uh, researching the serial number here on the side of the motor. To tell you how to find out exactly what motor you have um, and all the specs about that motor. So you can find out what rebuild kit you need and and uh, everything you need to know about the motor. This is like a 1980 Alice Chalmers forklift. We bought it with a blown motor, knowing that we had to rebuild it. Um, it's from my dad's sod company. I'm the guy that does all the maintenance and the repair work and everything for them. And uh, this motor had bad pistons and piston rings in it um, I can as you can see I already took out cylinder number one piston number one and right down there is a uh, piece of steel around steel bushing type thing where I'm going to use to pull this sleeve out right here each cylinder has a sleeve and when you do new pistons and rings you want to do the sleeves as well so um, I'll show you what this other piston looked like. When you got no compression at all on the cylinder, it could be your valves, um, uh, head gasket, or piston rings that are blown like this. That's crazy, right? That's how it came out. So, I could have took a video of me taking this apart, but it's fairly simple. I'm just going to give you guys a demonstration of what I'm going to do to pull these sleeves out. And what I bought, I bought these rods here. And I'm about to weld this nut on the bottom of this rod so that I can uh, have this underneath that, that uh, steel plate you saw down on the motor. And then use a couple blocks up here and a piece of steel going across to crank that sleeve out. So I guess I'll get back to you when I got some of this done. <laughs> 